So what do these two things have in common? You may be asking yourself. First, I'll tell you, I am way more confident in my abilities with this machete than I am with this makeup brush. All that to say, today we are going to talk about slicing and contouring on Cricut Design Space. Let's go. Okay, let's get started. Slicing and contouring, here we come. So, slicing and contouring is great for taking pieces out of your images that you don't want and adding pieces back to your image in different colors if it's only part of the image. So I've gone ahead and selected a car to start because this is a really good example of these two particular features. So right now I'm just gonna start off by duplicating. So right click your image, click duplicate, and now we've got two images to work with. So this guy over here, um, I actually want to be black because I want my tires to be black. So now this is gonna be my base image. So change the color. Now we can come down here to the contour feature and we can get rid of our contours one of two ways. We can individually click on all the pieces over here on the right or we can hit hide all contours and it'll leave us with just this car piece. You can actually, a third way, go through and click the pieces on the actual image. So there's a few ways to do it. But if you just want the base image, hide all contours is gonna be the quickest way to do that. And then you hop out of there. So now, if we put our layer of this other car on top, you can see that the black tire piece will show through. But I don't want black windows. So I, going to duplicate my piece again and let's just say we want yellow so I'll put this guy up here but you're still seeing the black so we need to contour this piece as well so I would like solid on my three window pieces and I know that I don't want any black showing through for my bumper so I'm gonna also get rid of my bumper pieces. So now I have the black showing through for my tires and when I slide this guy over, select arrange, send to front, now I have the yellow for my windows and I have the black for my tires. But I, I don't want a yellow bumper. I want a white bumper. So rather than trying to find a shape that matches it, I will be using the slice function. Again, I'm going to duplicate so I have my top piece that's going to stay the same and then I'll be working with this other piece over here. Actually, let's leave this one for later. This is the one we'll work with. So let's first contour this guy get rid of the little holes here for my bumper. So when we slide this on top, we've got our black layer on the back for the tires, we've got our yellow layer for our windows, and then we have thirdly our orange layer for the top part of the outside of our car. But we'll use this car to create the bumper detailing that we want because I want white bumpers. So let's click on this guy first, contour. I'm gonna hide them all again because I don't need any of those extra pieces for what I'm doing. I'm mostly focused on the bumper. So the front bumper here and the back bumper here. Now to isolate those pieces, we're gonna move this guy down here and grab a square. And we can make it a little bit smaller. The good thing um, about slicing is it, it gives you multiple layers and you can pick whatever colors you want. And if you don't like it, you can just come up here and click undo. So you want contrasting colors, at least I do when I slice because it's easier for me to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna rotate this square a little bit. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna cover the front bumper portion of the car because that is the part that I want to change. So now you're gonna select your pieces. You can either hold down the shift key if you're on a Mac, square is selected, and then now the whole group is selected by clicking on that. Or you can come to your right hand panel, click there, hold shift, and click on your shape. Two ways to get to the same end. So now we can slice. 
slice and dice. So we'll save that part for later. But that is the piece that now I will turn white and ta-da, white bumper piece. Now, same for the back. I will take my square and adjust. I will select my car and slice. Perfect. I want that little piece right there. We're gonna make it white. We're gonna put it over here. And now I have a car with all the colorings that I want. Black tires, yellow windows, orange outside, with some white bumpers. So the slicing and contouring features are really handy when you're really trying to customize your image, but maybe you can't quite find what you're looking for. Just grab, and it doesn't have to be a square, you can grab any of the shapes that are gonna work best. Um, overlap it, make sure they're both selected, and then your slice function will appear down here at the bottom and you can do it. But just play with it. So, slicing and contouring, any questions, let me know. Have a good one.